Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. To make it a great week, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your, treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. When you make it a goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to you have the perfect relationship with anyone else you're with. Remember, folks, okay, you, know, you only have one body, man. Take care of it. Take care of your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit, all of it. This is, uh, this is a fun little uh, deal. So pay attention to it and take care of it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 263, NASDAQ up 362, SP's up 60, gold contract up $12.70, trading at 1797 an ounce. We got silver up 19 cents, $22.50 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 32, $88.14 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note. Down one tick, trading 127.29. The 30 year off eight at 155.15 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 680 ticks, trading 96.589. Euro's 112, yen is 115. The British pound is at 134 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna well, know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, this is gonna be a cool little market to trade, folks. So. If we go over where we've been, right? Bottom line, SPY hit a high 479.98. That high was generated January 4th, right? Sell down fast and furious to 420. So we went from 480 approximately to 420. 60 points down, what's that? Almost 15, 12 and a half, 13 percent. That being said, what we did, and this is why we're getting really such a cool bounce, is that those four days of last week, I talked many times about if you come back and start testing lows too quick, the market gets exhausted. There's only so many sellers, folks. That's how this goes. Bottom line, that's what the market did, down continually. Friday, market said, see ya, don't want to be ya, wants to take off topside again. Why? Because there's no more sellers. You're biased coming in the marketplace. Okay, now, that being said, you're going higher. You have a contraction of volume what sets up the next leg down. I suspect what we're gonna see here is that the SPY, okay, can actually get up really close to the last swing point of 473. The reason I'm saying that is this. Most time when you get a bounce like this, okay, you take the lows of the last leg down. And the lows of the last leg down on the SPY is 450. Well, we're already hit 448. And window dressing has just started. We get two more days of window dressing. So that's telling me and it's because there's plenty of people that don't look at volume, trust me, even pro professionals, that they're gonna buy, 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 that's, that's what they're gonna do. Bottom line, what you're gonna have here, we're gonna get a nice counter trend bounce, and I suspect we'll be right back down, because what we did not do is that we did not test the full lows of the downdraft. We got close to them, but we didn't do it. And the full low in the downdraft is 420 bucks. That's your spy. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. What we have at the NDX right now is you take a look at the NDX, same setup, but the low in the Qs is 334. Bottom line, we got down to uh, 337.95, rejected the lower price. You have a huge contraction. Now, I think what we're going to see here is that the Qs can actually get all the way up to 378, which would be pretty amazing. You know, we'll see how it shakes out, but that's, that's how it looks to me right now. The gold market. What do we have with gold? Gold, bottom line, wants higher price. This is going to get really interesting watching this. Um, and the part that I'm talking about is not where we're going right now. So with gold, what you have is this. Gold, the gold equities, they came down. They came down to the lower end of their consolidation. Each and every one of them rejected lower price, had lighter volume, all of the above. We'll see what kind of traction gold can get going. Today, that's interesting. That this is not the uh, once. Let me let me get the uh, GC. I just had the wrong contract up here. There we go. I knew I had more volume. Ah, that's weird too. Hold it. Jeez. There we go. Okay. Well, now we're talking. 
GCJ. So we're on the April contract now. Okay, so there's some volume, 127. Okay, so bottom line is that we're going to need a lot more buyers, and we're going to need that wide price spread to come in. You know, thus far, what we have done, you rejected the lower price. You didn't get into the low that was generated out here in December. And it's going to be, well, let's go to sil take a look at silver. Silver. Okay, so silver, SIJ, SIJ, no, SIJ, okay, nope, that's not it. So silver was still on the H contract. Okay, if we take a look at silver, silver's up 16 cents. This is going to need wide price spread and accelerated volume also. I mean, what, what did happen is this. Silver actually looked that it went down faster than gold, but it didn't. Uh, and it, in fact, didn't get as low as gold. So silver is always highly volatile. What silver didn't do is take out a swing point of January 7th, which gold did. And where are we going? We're going to go right to the good old U.S. dollar. Because if we get follow through tomorrow, you can expect this dollar to go a lot lower. Let me pull this up. When you get a false break, either topside folks are downtown, and it doesn't sustain price, it can turn into real trouble for the whatever instrument you're trading. You know, you can see this. This is a nice bar, man. Last week we went from 96, 627 to 97, 441. We got outside the whole consolidation, and then bang, just gives it up in spades. So we'll see if we can get follow through. You get follow through. This could basically say that you're on the very end, the lower end of the consolidation, which actually is the 89 level, which is pretty amazing. But that's just how it's set up, man. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm sure people that are along the dollar say, what the heck is going on now? Let's go over to the euro and take a look at the euro and see how the euro is set up right now. So the, you can see the euro is just the opposite, man. Euro just jumped back inside its range. 111.86, you're at 112.39. Stay there. Stay right there, folks. Come back when I'm in, Mr. Steve Rhodes. We are going to be talking markets. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading uh, up 137. Nasdaq's up 301. S&P's up 43. We'll come right back.